him. Just on the sound of the bell. Heating up at the start of this second round. Lee Wood just needs to switch on here, just relax a little bit. He's coming out probably a little bit shell-shocked from that heavy knockdown. And he doesn't want to switch off in range of Conlon because Conlon is straight down to work. Oh, he's hurt again. Same left hand. He's trying to hold on. The legs have gone. And there's still well over two minutes of the round to go. Lee Wood is desperately holding on here. Cut is a cut. Conlon is cut by the left eye. But that's the least of his concerns here as he fires away. Wood's in big, big trouble. Wood's in Conlon produce a sensational finish. This is better for Lee Ward when he's got Conlon backed up to the rope, but it's important he doesn't just throw for the sake of throwing his rushing stuff. He needs to pick his shot. Yeah, trying to close that gap and really force that physical presence that he has. That was a good right hook from Lee Wood. Conlon choosing not to move off the ropes at this stage. Make him think about it and make him work. Make him breathe. This is better from Lee Wood. Just targeting the body of Michael Conlon, trying to slow the man down. It was a good left to the body. Good exchanges here from both men. Yeah, some good success here from Lee Wood, but Conlon, as always does, he fires back so tenaciously in there. All the barbs that were traded at the various press conferences. So, huge left hand from Michael Conlon. Great respect again. from both men here. No good. question about it. They've drawn it out of each other. Nice shot. Lee Wood Con still tries to fire back. Nice up the top from Lee Wood as he fires back there, but soaking up too many left crosses. Back comes Lee Wood again, firing in defiance, putting Conlon back on the road, trying to keep his title in front of his own crowd here in Nottingham. He can hear the noise. He's not going to let it go, he's not going to give it up. This is good work from Wood. response from Lee Wood here in the 10th round, 40 seconds to go. Still pushing, still hoping oh, for an amazing turnaround. Big shots from Lee Wood. Big shots and spiteful. You see him down his gum shield and through them shots. He knows he needs a big round. Here he comes, Lee Wood. He's picking shots nicely. Conlon on his back foot, doing a good job defensively, but Wood getting through. And believe me, these shots are hurting. They're having an effect. He needs such a big, strong finish, and I'm not sure he's got that in the tank. The work from Conlon's just been relentless. Yeah, good work. Oh, left uppercut, followed by right to the body from Conlon. This is good work. Oh, this is brilliant from Conlon, and I thought I saw the leg shake of Lee Wood. How is he taking these shots? Half a minute to go in the 11th round, and somehow Wood fires back, reaching into the depths of his strength and his soul, and somehow staying on his feet. Incredible. Lee Wood could not have done any more there. He stood in range, he took his shots, and he fired back, and he landed as well. He had success, but Conlon is not budging. Where in sport do you find this level of courage, this level of resistance as Lee Wood fires <laughs> Scores the knockdown at the end of the round. Conlon saying he slips. His corner are saying he slips. But Lee Wood somehow has come back to score a knockdown. It was so eagerly anticipated. And he's living up to the billing as they flail away in the centre of the ring. Lee Wood is doing exactly what he needed to do, what I was asking him to do. And he's going for broke. And he's having some say. It's over. It's all over, after a minute and 20 seconds.